Hi Virgo, this is your reading for March 2019 for love. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. If you would like to uh, check out my other videos that are on my channel as well, you can because you might be able to find additional messages hidden in those videos for your other signs. So let's take a look for love for 2019 March. Virgo! Let's see what messages we have for you in love. Oh, full card. Hangman. Two major arcanas, both linked to spiritual, the spiritual side. Okay. Um, usually I have to feel these cards out to kind of see whether we're going to take them or not. And I'm not feeling those, so I'm going to put those back whatever cards come out so we've got the fool fool usually indicates new beginnings uh it can be well you know the fool is kind of 50 50 it can be a really great new beginning or it can be a childish impulsive thing that can be happening however i do feel this is a spiritual new beginning for you because we have here the Fool, which is starting from fresh, but we also have the Hangman, which is the next card that came out, and the Hangman is all about embracing the spiritual path, and you've got the Sun here, where it's behind the person's head, again, thinking very spiritually, and here, the Sun is just shining in general, and sort of, it's leading the path, it's lighting up the path, so I think that this, um, this is, this is wonderful, and it kind of goes with the Virgo state of mind in a sense, you know, with thinking a lot and thinking before you act. So yeah, definitely a lot of uh, spiritual energy in this read as well, mainly because you do have here the four of uh, swords. In terms of love, I feel like you're thinking a lot more about what it is that you want what it is uh, that you essentially want from a partner, what you want from love, how you want someone to be with you. You're, you're really thinking about things right now, you're resting, you're meditating, you're thinking about things, you're not trying to battle too much because I don't see here in a conflict within your mind. I see that you're very calm, you're very um, patient, you're thinking things through, you're not, you know, those swords are put to rest. Um, and, you know, you're doing your thing where you're sort of going inside of your own mind and thinking about things before acting. I see here you have the potential to attract, uh, if you have not already attracted someone, who is very spontaneous, very creative, very passionate, a great communicator, a great leader. And um, if you are not already with someone like this, you can expect someone like this to come into your life. Um, so yeah, you're trying to weigh up your options, this this, this new path that's opening up. Um, this could have already happened to you, you know, sometimes you read readings and you think, wow, that actually did happen to me, but for a lot of you I'm seeing that there is someone new that's going to come in, but it's going to happen after you've st sort of started looking more within yourself and um, sort of rested a bit and sort of adapted more to your spiritual side really. So that's what I'm seeing with this energy, this new sort of energy that's sort of wrapping itself around you with the hangman and the fool and also the knight of wands and the king of swords see what other messages we have here okay those three were the ones that flipped over we have here the knight sorry not the knight <laughs> we have the nine of wands which again is fire energy it can signify or signal sorry it's some waiting that you might do in regards to this person because of course you do have a little bit of looking within yourself again um sort of holding on and just sort of weighing out things as well with the nine of wands waiting looking around um being a little bit cautious as well i'm seeing but you will want to adapt some form of a path and move forward um again another very spiritual card is the high priestess this is all about your intuition. Intuition, again, very strongly linked here with the Four of Swords and the Hangman. So the intuition is about knowing secrets. It's knowing, you know, you're trusting your gut feeling is what I'm getting from the uh, spirit guides are telling me you need to trust your instinct on this one. Everything that you have put into place 
with these three cards here that we talked about very, very earlier on, trust it, trust the universe, trust yourself. We also have here the Queen of Swords, no doubt in my mind that I saw that this person here would compliment you very, very well. And we've got the Queen of Swords as well, which means that this is in fact a match. So I do see that you are going to be, if you're not already, you're going to be um, meeting someone who is going to be a great leader. Again, very passionate, a great communicator, and you're going to balance them very easily um, and effortlessly and what else do I say really? It's a really, really great match. So this was your reading for March 2019 Virgo. I hope you liked your reading. If you liked it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more and check out the other videos on my channel and comment if you'd like to and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye!